give motorcycle riding tips, but I will give one now. I'll, uh, that, that area I just went through back there, there was a bunch of, uh, it looked like some kind of, something made of wood had fallen off the back of a truck and just got busted up all over the road. So when you're in traffic like this, or in, in any, even if you're not in traffic, keeping a safe distance behind these cars is the best thing you can do. Because uh, with all that, that wood and crap all over the road back there, if there had been something on the middle of the road, if you're too close to the car in front of you, you're not going to have any reaction time to avoid it. And it could be anything from, uh, you know, just a little piece of a board to a board with nails in it to God knows what else. The worst thing I ever almost ran over one time. And um, I don't, I, I was kind of too close to the car in front of me, but it was not close enough that I couldn't avoid it. It was a damn full size. I don't know how many ounces it was. It was a claw hammer laying in the lane. And if I had hit that, all kinds of ugliness could have happened. It could have punctured my tire. It could have flew up and hit me in the face or the car in front of me could have hit it and it could have hit me in the shin or the face or who knows what. But anyway, the point, point being, keep a safe distance from the vehicles in front of you so you can avoid obstacles in the roadway. That's solid advice right there. All right, tip of the day is done. I ain't got nothing else. I'm no riding instructor, and I sure as hell ain't no professional motorcycle rider or racer or anything else, so uh, I follow tips. I don't give them. Except for that last one. <laughs> Here's a subject. Um, I, I don't normally do this, but I know a lot of people, um, especially people with families, have a yearly vacation that's uh, planned in advance, you know, like like every year you do the same thing or you go to grandma and grandpa's house on the lake or you go to a lake house or camping or Disney World or overseas, something like that. I'm just curious how many people out there that, that watch these videos have plans that have been um, postponed or ruined because of uh, the pandemic closing so many facilities and parks and travel and everything else. So. Yeah, share that with me. I'm be curious to know because I know a lot of people plan those things well out in advance, you know. Everybody takes vacation about the same time of year and typically families do because it coincides with when the kids are out of school for uh, whether it's a summer break or, uh, you know, spring break or what, what have you. But anyway, yeah, it, it has already ruined plans I had, but they were not annual vacation plans. But uh, slowly but surely, we're getting through it. They're opening up more stuff here. And uh, I'll just be glad when they open up uh, the state and national parks for overnight camping. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be the saving grace for me because that's what I wanna do this year. That was my plans for 2020, to be outdoors as much as possible. And um, let's see what we can do. At any rate, uh, I guess I might have enough for a vlog. So you guys be safe and I will talk to you soon. Later. I want to take a couple minutes and thank you. If you watched the video all the way to the end and you're seeing this, I really, really appreciate it. I'll put my email address and my mailing address right over here somewhere. And if you have stickers you want to send me, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you all again soon. Goodbye.